A happy good evening to all. Before we start the chorus singing, let's look to the Lord in prayer. Shed a bow on our heads and pray to the Lord. Almighty, our loving King, our Father, we thank you for adding one more, one more Sunday on our life. Lord, bless all the congregation gathered here to worship you. Bless all their kith and kin. Lord, as we are celebrating this Sunday as Missionary Sunday, in remembering Reverend David Downey, Lord, thank you, Lord, for the sacrifice they have made to bring the Christianity in this, into this world. Lord, thank you for giving them that type of, Lord, that zeal to spread your go word throughout, throughout the world. Lord, we ask you to bless this Sunday, Lord, as we are remembering our great missionaries, Lord. And we ask you to bless today's speaker as giving you word and help us to lead our candidate. And we also ask you to bless all the choir members who are singing praise unto thee. Bless our voices, Lord, as we are singing unto you. And bless each and every song. It's only for your glory. I commit each and everything into your hands. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Let us exalt the name of the Lord in singing the splendor of our King, clothed in majesty. Let all earth rejoice. How great is our God. Sing with me. How great is our God.
to be praised. We sing, sing hallelujah to the Lord. Chorus number seven. Sing hallelujah to the Lord. Thank you. 
sing chorus number 10 arise the king of kings and the holy lord we sing it unto you enthroned in a place
this is my desire to honor you lord with all my heart i worship you chorus number 1 Almighty God, unto whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hid, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of Thy Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love Thee and worthily magnify Thy holy name, through Christ our Lord. Amen.
God is a spirit and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. This is life eternal that they should know thee, the only true God and him whom thou didst send even Jesus Christ. seated please for our response to scripture portion please turn with me to selection number 48 which you can find in the front side of the hymnals under the caption God's word response to scripture portion selection number 48 under the caption God's word and let us go with the New Testament portion I charge thee in the sight of God and of Jesus Christ, who shall judge the living and the dead by his appearing and his kingdom. Preach the word. Be urgent in season, out of season. Reprove, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering and teaching. For the time will come when they will not endure the sound doctrine, but having itching ears, will heap to themselves teachers after their own heart, lusts. And will turn away their ears from the truth and turn aside unto fables. But be thou sober in all things, suffer hardship, do the work of an evangelist, fulfill thy ministry. I have fought the good fight, I have finished the course, I have kept the faith. Henceforth there is laid upon, laid up, for me the crown of righteousness which the Lord the righteous judge shall give me at that day and not to me only but also to all them that love his appearing every scripture inspired of God and is also profitable for teaching for reproof for correction for instruction which is in righteousness that the man of God may be complete furnished completely unto every good work. Let us continue to worship the Lord by standing and singing hymn number 155, 155, A Mighty Fortress.
be seated. For our meditation, the scripture portion is taken from the New Testament. Gospel according to St. John, chapter 21, verses beginning from 1 to the end of the 7th verse. John's Gospel, chapter 21. Verses 1 to 7, I request our dear brother Fraser to come and read the passage for us. Church, the, script, the scripture portion for today's meditation is taken from the gospel according to John, 21st chapter, verses 1 through 7. After these things, Jesus showed himself again to the disciples at the Sea of Tiberias, and on this wise showed he himself. There were together Simon, Peter, and Thomas, called Didymus, and Nathaniel of Cana in Galilee, and the sons of Jebedee, and two other of his disciples. Simon Peter said unto them, I go a fishing. They say unto him, We also go with thee. They went forth and entered into a ship immediately, and that night they caught nothing. But when the morning was now come, Jesus stood on the shore, but the disciples knew not that it was Jesus. Then Jesus said unto them, Children, have ye any meat? They answered him, No. And he said unto them, Cast the net on the right side of the ship, and ye shall find. They cast therefore, and now they were not able to draw it for the multitude of fishes. Therefore the disciple whom Jesus loved saith unto Peter, It is the Lord. Now when Simon Peter heard that it was the Lord, he got his fisher's coat unto him, and did cast himself into the sea. May the Lord bless the scripture reading. Shall we all look to the Lord in prayer? Gracious, heavenly, loving Father, we thank thee and praise thee for the blessed day thou hast given us in our lives. Thank you, Lord, for extending our lives one more day in this world. Thank you, Lord, for your love, consent, care, protection, and provision for each and every one of us as a token of Gratitude, Lord, we have come to thy presence with hearts full of gratitude, O Lord. At this moment, O Lord, we especially pray for the loyal congregation who have come here with a heart to listen to thy word and sing praises unto thee. Thank you, Master, for giving them the good mind of coming unto thee. As they have come to thee with different problems and different challenges, O Lord, the word of God who is living and the word of God who can speak to them, Lord, your, as your servant is going to stand before your altar to deliver your word, anoint him, put your word in his mouth and speak to the congregation. As, Lord, as the congregation have come to thee, O Lord, bless them abundantly and give them what they need at this moment. Lord, we also remember each and every family of this English worship service Bless them abundantly, bless their children and grandchildren as well. Lord, we especially remember the elder people of our congregation, especially we uphold Vaiti Mitra Sar and Amrita Mitra Garu. Thank you, Lord, for using him as vessels to this English worship service as they are still rendering their services unto the O Master. Bless them abundantly, give them all good health and long life. Lord, we also pray that you may bless their children and grandchildren wherever they are. Lord, we also remember our dear Master Vijayam Sar who is on the bed and looking at you, Lord, 
have mercy upon him touch him and restore him to the normal health lord we also remember all the bereaved families who have lost their beloved ones so lord console them comfort them strengthen them with thy word so lord lord we also remember the people who have met with their with accidents so lord especially we remember kripal raj and brother sun as he met with the accident the lord has he is recovering lord touch him restore him to the normal health we also pray for kalyan as he is recovering from his injury o lord be with him strengthen him and give him good health to continue to work for the lord lord we also remember all our choir members thank you lord for the talents you have bestowed upon them as they are singing praises unto thee week after week o oh master bless them abundantly bless their families and their children and the workplace wherever they are working lord we also remember all the young children who are supporting the praise and worship service thank you lord for the talents you have given to them as these young people are in different professional and intermediate colleges o oh lord guide them o oh lord and be with them protect them save god them lord let these young people grow in the word to stand for the in the days to come lord we also remember our choir director special shara pravin thank you lord for her commitment commitment and dedication to thy work o oh master as she is rendering her services unto the o oh lord give her all good health and long life and bless her children and their family grandchild wherever they are Lord we also pray and uphold each and every committee member and their families thank you master for keeping them as committee members as they are rendering their services unto the o lord bless them abundantly bless them all their children and grandchildren wherever they are lord we especially remember the missionary organizations such as the indian evangelical mission mission for the blind and french missionary prayer band organizations sending the missionaries into the no corners of this country oh lord be with them protect them save god them and supply their wants according to your will and vision heaven lord we also remember the greens international thank you lord for the international national and state offices we especially uphold all the office bearers and auxiliaries who are working very hard to distribute your word oh master be with them guide them protect them and supply their wants according to your glorious riches by jesus christ lord we especially remember that the people of our country o oh lord as the elections are approaching lord give thy wisdom and knowledge to choose the right leader o lord we also remember the war that is taking place between iran and israel o oh lord the what our god who came to this world as prince of peace o oh lord instill peace in the world o master we also pray that you may lead the world lead us in a proper way to instill peace in the world lord at this moment we especially remember the people who have not come to this worship service lord give them another opportunity to come to thy presence we also pray for the people on their way to this worship service bring them safely into our midst o master Lord at this moment we especially uphold the speaker Reverend Harry Paul as he is going to stand before your altar to deliver your word O Lord anoint him put your word in his mouth and speak to thy children O master as your word is delivered let thy holy spirit minister each and every member of this congregation give them attentive ears and give them right understanding to comprehend your word let the words of his mouth and meditations of his heart be acceptable before thy sight in jesus name i pray amen
Today being the Missionary Sunday, we remember Reverend David Downey, missionary, who done a lot of work in mission field. And the song we have selected to sing, the caption is, Jesus is the joy of living. Jesus is the joy of living. And the lyrics go like this. I have found a wondrous savior, Jesus Christ, the soul's delight. Every blessing of his favor fills my heart with to me. Unto him my all I am giving, his forevermore to be. I will do what he commands me. Anywhere he leads, I will go.
Good evening, friends. I take this opportunity on behalf of Associate Chaplain and Committee members and welcome you all to this evening's English worship service. If there is anyone who have come here for the very first time, please make it a point to come to this English worship service. Every Sunday evening at 6.30 p.m. right in this place, the sing song starts at 6.30 p.m. and the main service starts at 7 o'clock and closes by 8.15 or 8.30 p.m. We have a, a special guest. Uh, our special welcome goes to uh, Raj Ramanjalugaru, the great grandson of late Reverend Joshi Ramanjalugaru. And he is in USA and he has come with his son. And we welcome you, sir. Thank you for being a part of this worship service. Next Sunday, that is 28-04-2024, the speaker will be Brother William Shubakar. I request the congregation, please uphold him in your personal prayers. Today's speaker doesn't need any introduction. He is Reverend Harry Paul, a pastor, a Centenary Baptist Church, Bantwadi Palim, Nellur. He is one of our panel speakers. We thank him for accepting our invitation and coming forward to share the word of God with us this evening. Thank you, Harry. Tomorrow, our English worship service is holding one day uh, training program for the VBS teachers and expert is coming from Hyderabad to give the training. Those who are interested to join as VBS teacher are also requested to take part this take part in this training program. Lunch will be provided. And those people who wanted to join as VBS teachers, they can come and meet Sarah Pravina, the Sunday School Superintendent, after the service is over. From 7th May onwards, we are going to start VBS program for the children. So I request uh, the congregation members, please send your children and let them be trained in the word of God. And one more important thing is VBS program is a very expensive program, so we request the congregation to stretch out your hands for the little children, either by cash or by kind. Uh, the word which we are giving in this age will help them when they grow up. So no compulsory, it is not compulsory, but it is only a request. Sunday school timings will be as usual. After the service is over, uh, there is a committee meeting, all the committee, meet, uh, committee members and uh, Sunday school student are requested to assemble in the right, uh, right side uh, room, that is a uh, collection room and we will have a committee meeting for 15 minutes. The offerings collected on 14-4-2024 general offering, 4,700 rupees, and thank offering G. Ishan Leon Raj, rupees 5,000, thank offering from K. Akash Prince, 1,500, thank offering from P. Benny Joel Sam, 1000 rupees, and Sunday school offering 640 rupees, total comes to 12,840 rupees. If there is anyone who have come with their offerings, I request them to come forward to give their offerings. Otherwise, I request Geet Kalyan, please come and collect the offerings, please. <laughs>
us pray gracious heavenly father we thank thee and praise thee for the blessed time you have given to us to come into the holy sanctuary to express our gratitude for the blessings we have received the lord i especially uphold each and every congregation members as they have come with their offerings from what they have already given to them a lot bless the offerings and use them for the expansion of thy kingdom in jesus name i pray amen now i request raj ramanjul garu to come forward and introduce himself to the congregation raj ramanjul garu please Good evening. Uh, my name is Raj Singh Ramanjalu. So, a brief introduction about myself. Um, you may know my grandfather, great grandfather, and so forth. But let me introduce about myself. I um, work for TBS, Trinitarian Bible Society, and I'm working on Bible translation specifically. So, this is an English service. If we were to look at John 3:16. It says, for God so loved the uh, world that he gave his, what, only? Begotten. Begotten. Begotten son. In Hindi, it says only eklota putre. Right? It doesn't have the idea of janma hua or janat. That is missing. But as a very a key doctrinal issue, because he is the only son that is born of God. Right? So when it comes to small, small things like that, that is my job. So I was a missionary in Suriname. That's where my son was born. Have you all heard of Suriname? Anybody have heard the country of Suriname? Huh. Suriname, Guyana, Trinidad. Those countries, during the time of uh, Winston Churchill and the British Raj, they took many, many people from Calcutta, UP, as indentured servants there. And many did not go back. So I was there as a missionary in Suriname. There the people speak Bhojpuri slash Avati. So while I was preaching there in Hindi, and I went to an English school. So I'm not well versed in what the scriptures are in Hindi. But as I began to preach, I realized, hey, this is wrong. Where's the word Rakt? Where's the word Lahu? Where's the word Dwara? Where's the, where's the word Say? All these small, small prepositions are missing in the blood of Jesus, through the blood of Jesus, right? On his name. Uh, all these key, key doctrinal words were missing from the translation. So I gave a call to the, uh, uh, the Baptist Society. I said, hey, did you notice for almost the last 100 years that this transla there's this translation issues? And they said, no, Raj, no one told us that there are issues in the translation. They said, now the job is up to you. So, okay, now I have this responsibility to edit the translation. Then they also said, you can also work on the Bujpuri translation. So now I'm working on Bujpuri as well. So all day, word for word, <laughs> I take my time and translate. So, with that, I'll give a small word of encouragement. That's okay, right? Yeah. Look at Acts 1.8. Acts 1.8. Acts 1.8. Sorry, my Bible is pasted together. Ah. And Acts 1.8. It says, but ye shall receive power after the Holy Ghost has come upon you, and ye shall be witnesses. So the word witness, anybody have any idea what that word means or what it comes from in Greek? It actually comes from the word martyr. A better word in English, no, in English doesn't have a good word, but maybe in Hindi. In Telugu, maybe it says sakshi, right? Okay. But there's a difference between the word sakshi and sakshya, right? 
Does anybody know that you all know the difference between the word Saksi Saksha? Saksha is actually the evidence, right? So the Lord is saying, you will be the evidence. You will be the witness. At the same note, it has the idea of dying. So immediately, to be a Christian is to die. Is to die with Christ. It says, ye shall receive power after the Holy Ghost is upon me, and ye shall be witness unto me. And then this is the game plan he gives. You will be a witnesses unto me in Jerusalem, Judea, Samaria, and the uttermost part of the earth. Jerusalem for the Jewish people at that, that, at that time is what? Nearby area. Ask what is close. Judea would be the state, Rashtra. Right? Samaria would be the neighboring state. Then to where? Uttermost part of the earth. The reason why I'm saying this is as a Christian, if you read uh, Ecclesiastes, right, the last verse of Ecclesiastes says, what is the job of man? Right? It says to fear the Lord. It says to fear the Lord and to do what? Keep his commandments. If you were to read the last verse in Ecclesiastes written by King Solomon. So if you come here to Acts 1.8, it says clearly what is the plan of a Christian is to evangelize. First, your neighbor. First, your nearby community. Your neighbor, neighboring state. And to the uttermost part of the earth. If one is sitting in his pews, the same pews, from your birth to your death, you haven't done the job of a, of a Christian. Because our job as a Christian is to go out and evangelize. So... I'm sharing this small word because I myself uh, am doing that job uh, and with it comes a lot of hardship. I've been taunted, I've been ridiculed, I've been abused, I've been in uh, police stations, all these things, especially being in Bihar because I was, before here I was in Bihar. Over there I have to look different, I wear pancha, I have the earrings, you know, and that's the only way I can come communicate to those people is to be a witness. Likewise, all of us, be a witness, share the gospel. And, but to be a witness means to carry the cross. And I think many of us forget that. Oh, okay, I hope that was a blessing to you all. I didn't mean to take long. Shama <laughs> Chindi. Today we are celebrating this Sunday as uh, uh, in the memory of our Reverend David Downey and uh, our associate chaplain wants to give a brief summary about Reverend Downey. Today we are <coughs> remembering the days of Reverend Dr. David, David Downey from the mill to mission field. On 28th February in 1873, Reverend Dr. David Downey arrived at Nellur along with his wife, uh, Annie Downey. The Downeys traveled in a bullock cart for a week to reach Nellur from Madras. In same year, Nellur experienced floods in the Pennar River, and the river was very ferocious. The Downies at the Mission Bangalore embraced and sheltered several victims of floods. Around the same time, God touched one person by name Ramaya from Reddy community and accepted Jesus Christ as his personal savior. He belongs from Rajapalya. Later he pursued theological studies at Ramayapatnam Seminary and became a pastor. The contribution of Downey to healthcare service is commendable. In 1890, he encouraged Dr. Ida Fay to start a dispensary at Nellore in 1897, this dispensary became the 
American Baptist Mission Hospital. The infrastructure of the ABM hospital was the result of the efforts of Downey, Sri Rebala Lakshmi Narsareddy, a generous philanthropist, donated four and a half acres of land and 6,000 rupees to build quarters for the families of patients. His name can still be found engraved on a tablet on the compound wall of the quarters. Dr. and Ms. Bidiman worked as doctors for many years. Dr. Marion Oletta Bear from the American Baptist Foreign Mission Society served as a doctor for 38 years in Nellore, which came to known as Bairamma Hospital. Dr. Downey, well known as an engineer missionary, toiled hard with all his dedication along with his co-laborers in building up many monumental institutions in Nellur and Karnal. Cole's Ekraman Memorial High School, that is CIM High School, Nellur, George Ekraman Memorial Hostel, Nellur, ABM Women's Secondary Grade Training School, Nellur, the Lone Star Telugu Baptist Church, Nellur, founded on 12th October 1844, well known as the Mother Church to all the Telugu Baptist Churches in Nellur. Chambers Memorial Downey Hall, English Service, Nellur, Coles Centenary Baptist Church, Karnoon, Coles Memorial Junior College, Karnoon, Coles Boys Hostel, Karnoon, Emily Coles Memorial Girls High School, Karnoon, and Stanton Bangalore, Karnoon. If you see the history of our Downey Hall, Dr. David Downey started the English service in the Lone Star Church. He wanted to have a separate building in the middle of the town so that many people who knew English would attend. With the help of his friends in America, Mrs. and Frank R. Chambers, a chapel was built in memory of his son. This chapel was named Chambers Hall. It was completed in 1902. After the death of Downey, it was renamed as Downey Hall. We can see a tablet in the downstairs of Downey Hall with these words. After the death of Downey in 1927, the building once the thought of Reverend David Downey, now a memorable to his useful, devoted life. Reverend Downey was a great writer too. A Telugu monthly by name, the Telugu Baptist, and another in English, Baptist Mission Review. He wrote two other historical books. Number one is Mill to the Mission, and secondly, Lone Star. If you see the family background of Reverend David Downey, Dr. and Mrs. Downey were blessed with three daughters, elder, one is Annie, died in 1901 in Nellur. Second daughter married Dr. J.W. Stranger, who worked in Clough Memorial Hospital, Ongol. And youngest married S.W. Stranger, who worked as a missionary in Madras. Reverend Downey reached his heavenly home on 19th July, 1927. In conclusion, Reverend Dr. Downey, David Downey rendered invaluable, commendable services in spreading gospel, education, and healthcare services in Nellur. Consequently, Downey became a household name in the entire Nellur district. We must be grateful to God and our earlier missionaries for what we are today. It is time for us to rededicate ourselves to continue the rich spiritual legacy.
Thank you. Let us continue to worship the Lord by standing and singing hymn number 331. What a friend we have in Jesus. and hold the Bible and join the choir and sing the Bible chorus. The best book to read is the Bible. The best book to read is the Bible. The best book to read is the Bible. If you read it every day, it will help you all the way. For the best book to read seated please this is the time for the speaker to take out the pulpit good evening church let me give you the skeleton of our meditation you can add flesh and you can pray so that God can give life to the skeleton I have taken the title from the very autobiography of Reverend Dr. Downey from mill to the mission field, from mill to the mission field, applying the same to our lives, hardest to harvest, hardest to harvest, from the life of Peter. There is no comparison and there is no contradiction 
between Dr. Downey and Peter, I have taken this criteria, a missionary, a man of God, and myself. Man of God is Peter, missionary, Reverend Dr. Downey, and myself. So from mill to mission field. And in this, there are three points that I would like to pose before you. Number one, a misery, master, and mercy. Misery, master, and mercy. Peter had a miserable life in certain times, but it's his mercy intervened in every time to restore him from mill to the mission field, to hardest time to the harvest. The same with us, the same with us. The scripture that has been read to us records the post-resurrection of our Lord for the third time. For that matter, the gospel according to St. John, it's very rich in signs, symbols, in a spiritual way, very rich. The epilogue in the first chapter, the prologue in the first chapter, and the epilogue in 21st chapter records at least seven important signs, beginning with uh, wedding at Kana, where he turned water into wine. If you take the seventh one, raising the Lazarus from the dead, the first miracle recorded as per the gospel according to St. John's, where a lifeless water turned into a delicious wine. And the seventh miracle, a dead Lazarus made to live. So, it's very rich in symbols. When we come to the first part, first point, the misery that Peter experienced in his life can be seen in verse 3. It is recorded that here, Peter, with other six disciples, telling that, I go a fishing. I go a fishing. And the six disciples say, We will. We will. Before crucifixion and after the resurrection, post resurrection, Lord is very clear and lucid in telling them that He was going to meet them at Galilee. Even before his crucifixion, he told them that he was going ahead of them and he would meet them before crucifixion. After the resurrection, after his very first appearance to Mary, he told her to tell the disciples that he is going to meet them at the very spot Galilee. Reasons that are not mentioned in the scripture may be a frustration, because they prayed that thy kingdom come. They could not see the kingdom. He claimed that he is the king of kings. He is not there. There were 12 disciples. One betrayed and committed suicide. And the rest of the 11 scattered. I call it a frustration. Going back to the old profession. He was called in a miserable situation that is recorded in Gospel according to St. Luke chapter 5, where he miserably failed in catching the fish, and Lord miraculously made him a fisher of man. He forgot that. Out of frustration he went and it resulted in failure. If you carefully read chapter 3, verse 3, I go, we will. Who is missing? I go. The six said, we will. Who is missing? Very Lord. They missed him. And that frustration resulted in failure. Gospel according to St. John, chapter 15. Apart from him, we can do nothing. Abiding in him, we can be fruitful. Apart from him, it's a failure. Staying with him, it is fruitful. And the very next verse, verse 4 says, He stood on the shore. It's a daybreak. 
it's a morning they toiled the entire night in futile vain and he was standing on the shore dear church there is a frustration in their hearts there is failure in the boat there is failure in the net but a friend is standing there what a wonderful song we have just now sung what a friend we have in jesus in your failure life in your frustrated life your friend is standing on the shore to restore your life to rejuvenate your life he is standing on the shore and ask them a question what a compassionate calling it is children do you have anything actually it is a statement with a question tag if you carefully follow the uh, original translation children you have nothing have you affirmation with a question tag knowing their failure and calling them children if you think you are abandoned your life is a failure full of frustration he calls you my child my child without him you lost everything but with him you have plenty plenty and the reply is negative no again the compassion again the friendship and again the favor cast your nets on the right see when they cast their nest on the right they had a great catch my silly observation you may call it but i am delighted to say this when they were casting their nests on the right perhaps they might have done the same entire night they cast their nest on the left nothing on the right nothing it happened the entire night on the command of our lord when they cast their nest on the right side my my silly thought is this who cast the nest who cast the nest disciples and they caught a great catch great fish what was lord doing he was bringing the entire great fish to the right side we may not know that he is working behind you he is working behind your failure to make you a success one of the wonderful passages in the scriptures when israelites coming from the bondage of egypt when they were in front of the red sea the scripture records that that night god made the east wind to divide the red sea who was working who was working the master is working the master is working we remember reverend dr downey it is said in his biography very autobiography from mills to mission field there was a famine 1876 to 1878 two years terrific famine where some 3 million people perished because of the famine david downey helped to raise almost 100000 dollars to feed the people we may think what is their mill to mission no when he was a child he was joined in a private school as there were no public schools but he was not fond of school he was wandering around the city watching the ship and waiting for a chance for a foreign trip wandering watching waiting for a chance so let us call him a failure at primary level of his education and god used that failed man to feed the people mill to mission he was dropped from the school at an early age and was put into the work a cotton mill that is the mill 
as a in giver that was his job in giver giving the thread to the warp w a r p that was his work and that very hands that failed in the primary education mission field we owe a lot to him misery when there is a master his mercy can do the miracles he stood on the shore and asked them to cast their nets on the right and they caught a great fish and the number is also mentioned over that it is 153 it's a bias during those days the entire species of fish is 153 but it is not correct but the spiritual meaning as i told you i am the god that is the derivation of 153 and passover is another derivation and there are so many uh, geometrical and uh, theological expressions involved in that and we don't have time to go through all this they caught that even before they reached the shore there was fire fish and bread the master is ready to serve you your hungry tummies your hungry hearts your hungry souls your hungry stomach food is ready and invitation is open come and dine actually it is not dine come and have your breakfast they toiled all the night they suffered all the night not only their boat and nets empty their souls and stomach also empty here is the food come and dine i love his invitation you know here is the breakfast with the failure life and in the gospel lunch with the fallen people he sat and ate with the sinners outcasts and he was called friend of sinners one among them one among them a fallen life a failure life he invited me to his breakfast he had his lunch with me come and dine come and dine think about jakayas today i have to stay with you think about samaritan woman that's a wonderful scripture portion when disciples came and asked him lord you have a, your food and he said i have my food brosin is the greek word which means meat i have my meat how delightful he is about my salvation how delightful when i am saved it's a feast to him and he says i have my meat taking from the life of samaritan woman from the life of peter come and eat and another wonderful thing that is recorded in the passage bring the fish that you have caught there is no need to that but restoring the lives encouraging the lives bring what you have caught it is he who helped them to catch the fish but giving credit to the failure life dear church do you follow me if you think you are a failure he made you success and gives credit to you yourself bring the fish that you have caught he didn't say bring the fish that i order to no and that is the restoration of peter who denied lord at the very fire place for three times and the fire reminded him to restore his life according to his richest grace and mercy grace and mercy that restores that restores he did feed them with his own hands he distributed them he catered them fish and bread how privileged you know there is an invitation in the last book book of revelation blessed are those who are invited to the supper of the lamb there is a breakfast there is a lunch there is a supper and you are invited here is an example of a failure life come and have your breakfast a frustrated life restored again 
fallen lives he had lunch with them and here is our future calling us and once again let me uh, bring a glimpse from the life of reverend dr downey after the mills work there was a great uh, economic crisis in us as a result even the flourishing and promising business people lost their economy and in result downey lost his job by the time he was a carpenter what all he had was a tool kit and you know his work peace worker not even a full time carpenter peace worker with a tool kit isn't it amazing to be in the hands of master a novice i could say a novice a novice carpenter with a tool kit could build his kingdom on earth the very sanctuary that we are sitting is a living example builder of the church is reverend dr david downey can you call him a failure failure in education failure in economy no excelled in engineering of his master greatest builder of the kingdom on earth with his master for his master that's what i say a man of god peter a missionary reverend dr downey and me and me if you are in a miserable condition if you are sailing in the misery here is the life lesson we are taught history in our schools at least in primary can we remember our uh, those history dates years so on so war invasions very difficult but life lessons taught in home can anyone forget once marriage day long long ago once upon a time there lived and mystery if you forget your marriage day there will be a permanent lesson try to forget your spouse uh, birthday strongest historic lessons are taught in the life not in classroom what a lesson he taught to peter to make him the strongest pillar of the church his church universal church so do we let me make it very precise so do i from misery through master by his mercy to the mission may the good god bless us all together thank you one and thank you all i take this opportunity on behalf of the committee and thank reverend harry paul for his meaningful exhortation may god bless him and use him more abundantly in the days to come shall we all stand and close this worship service by singing hymn number 529 o zine haste 529 
tomorrow we have VBS teachers training program. So uh, if anybody is interested to teach the children, they are invited to take part in this training program. After the service is over, you can come and meet Mrs. Shara Praveena, the Sunday school shopunet. Shall we say Lord's Prayer together? Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. For thine is the kingdom, power and glory forever and ever. Amen. May the love of our Father and the grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and the sweet coming of the Holy Spirit abide with us now and forevermore. Amen.